Grade 6 math number 12.7. Estimate the area of circles. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is A equals LW, or the area equals the length times the width. The area formula for a circle is area equals pi r squared. But I'm going to show you something that we can use the radius times half the circumference. Well, how can we do that? We can turn a circle into a parallelogram. So if you want to try this, go right ahead because it's kind of fun. Draw and measure a circle. Measure the radius from the very center to here. Remember the radius is half the diameter. The whole side to side is the diameter and from the center to the edge is the radius. So measure the radius, this part, okay? And measure the circumference. Remember that the circumference is pi times the diameter, all right? So you can double the radius to get the diameter or just measure straight across. Then multiply it by pi, 3.14, and you'll know what the circumference is. And then write all that down, okay? Write what the diameter is, write what the radius is and what the circumference all the way around is once you multiply it by 3.14. Then cut out the circle and fold it in half like this. Okay, then fold it a second time so it looks like this. Okay, so it's folded into four pieces. Then fold it in half a third time so it actually is really tiny like this. Okay, see how it's folded? This would have been once, that's twice, and that's three times. Okay, so it's real tiny like this. Then unfold it and open it all up once it's folded, unfold it and open it all up and then color or shade half of it, okay? You can color it all in or you could do check marks like I did as long as you get the whole thing shaded, okay? Then cut along every single fold line until you cut out eight wedge shapes, like eight slices of pizza, okay? Then fit them together up and down, up and down, up and down like this. See? This is what it looked like before it was cut. Fit them together like this. Now I knew my radius was 7.5 centimeters because my diameter was 15. And the radius is half the diameter. So my radius was 7.5 and that's the measure from the outside to the center point. That's this measure right here, okay? I knew that my circumference was 47 centimeters. When I measured this with my metric measure, I was really surprised. Let's see if I can do this again to show you. I was really surprised to see that when I lined it up along here, look at, maybe I could do it here. It comes out to 23 and a half centimeters. Do you see that? If I can hold it still. Well, that's half of 47. So my length, I made a parallelogram. It's shaped like this, if you can see it. I made this parallelogram and its height or width is seven and a half centimeters and its length is 23.5 centimeters. That's half of 47, see? It's like taking the circumference and cutting it in half, see? And that ended up being what from this corner to that corner measured was 23.5 centimeters. Isn't that weird? We turned a circle into a parallelogram. So when you look at this, you can say my radius of 7.5 and half the circumference, that could be the area of a circle or of a rectangle, right? Of a parallelogram. Well, since the area of a parallelogram is length times width, and our new parallelogram is 23 and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters. I multiplied the 23.5 by the 7.5 and I got 176.25. That's the estimated area of our original circle and our new parallelogram. Why is it estimated? Because we know my measurements weren't quite perfect making this into a parallelogram, right? The formula for the area of a circle is the area is equal to pi r squared. That is, 
it's approximately equal to pi, because pi is not perfect, so it's approximate, pi times the radius times the radius. Well, if I know my radius is 7.5, I multiply them to each other, and I get 56.25. Now I multiply that to pi, the 3.14, and I got 176.625. 176.625. Look what we had when we made the parallelogram, 176.25. It was really close, wasn't it? So that was a good way to estimate the area of the circle by turning it into a parallelogram. So because the formula to find the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared, if we know the radius, we can easily find the approximate area. And I say approximate again because we're using pi and it's not perfect, okay? We just multiply the radius times itself, multiply that by pi, and we've got pretty much our approximate area there, okay? So remember we can use 3.14 for pi, okay? That's the symbol for pi, or we can use the fraction 22 over 7. If a pizza has a radius of 10 inches, then the area is 3.14, the pi, times 10 times 10, the radius squared. 10 times 10 is 100, so we do 3.14 times 100, or 314 inches would be the area of the pizza. And you have to remember, we have to use this sign because we're using pi. So we can't use equal, can we? If the radius of a circle is measured at 2.5, and, and it could be centimeters, feet, inches, miles, but if it's measured at 2.5, then the area is... We turn this into an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 over 2 is this as an improper fraction. Remember, we multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator over the original denominator. So now we've got 22 over 7, because we can use that for pi, remember? Multiplied by 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. This 2 and the 22 cancel each other out as 1 and 11. And we get 11 times 5 times 5, and 7 times 1 times 2. So we get 275 over 14. When you divide 275 by 14, we get approximately 19.64. And again, because we're dealing with pi and 22 over 7, we use the approximate sign, okay? So the area is approximately 19.64, all right? So this is just estimating the area of circles. In our next video, 12.8, we're going to seriously work on the area of circles, okay? But now you know how to turn a circle into a parallelogram and find the area with just the length and the width. Isn't that cool? See you next video. Bye.